2018 was a year in which UPI-based digital payments went mainstream. Companies like Samsung and Google have their own solutions dubbed Samsung Pay and Google Pay respectively, and looks like Xiaomi has also decided to join the party and launch their own digital payment solution called Mi Pay. The service is in beta, but if you still want to test it out before its official release, then you are at the right place. Let's move on as we tell you how to get started with Mi Pay Beta. First of all, you need to know that Mi Pay is built into the Mi UI 10 framework, which means unlike Google Pay or Beam, Mi Pay isn't an app and will work only on a compatible Xiaomi smartphone running the latest Mi UI Global Beta ROM. In our case, we are using the Redmi Note 5 Pro running the latest beta software. So to know if your Xiaomi smartphone is a compatible device, just head over to MIUI forums from the link in the description down below and download the latest beta build for your smartphone. The page also has instructions regarding how to download and flash the ROM on your device, so be sure to follow them thoroughly before proceeding. With this out of the way, go to settings on your smartphone and tap on Mi Pay under the Accounts tab. Sign in to your Mi account and proceed. You will be redirected to the home screen of Mi Pay wherein you will see three tabs at the top, Send Money, Request and Scan and Pay. Below that you will see Utility Services to which we will come to in a bit. First of all, you will need to verify your phone number. To do that, go to My Profile and tap on Phone Number. Then tap on the Network Operator up top and follow the prompts. Give the required permissions and once done, a pop-up will show up saying your phone verification is successful. Next, go back and tap on Bank Accounts and then tap on Add Bank Account. Now select your bank from the list and follow the setup prompts. After creating your UPI ID, you will be asked to enter your UPI PIN, after which your bank account will be registered on MePay. To check your bank account details, you can click on the Bank Accounts tab on the home screen. To make payments, you can tap on the Send Money tab up top to send money to a UPI ID or a bank account. Similarly, you can request money as well by tapping on the Request tab and entering a UPI ID. Also, you can make payments through Scan and Pay using QR code. MePay also gives an option to make your utility bills payments. To do that, from the home screen, tap on Utility Services and select your recharge or bill payment. From here, you can make payments for mobile, water, electricity, gas, DTH, landline and broadband. And from the looks of it, Xiaomi has a good list of billers, which means finding any major service provider in the list shouldn't be a problem. Now at any time, if you wish to deregister your bank account details from MePay, then in that case from the MePay home screen, tap on the settings button at the top left and click on deregister. This will ensure that your bank account details are securely removed and all the UPI accounts will be deregistered. The best part about MePay is that you don't need a separate app like Google Pay or Beam to make payments as MePay is directly baked inside the MIUI 10 software. And looking at the current market scenario where Xiaomi is the leading smartphone maker in India, the move by tapping into the digital payment space can turn out to be fruitful. Only time will tell. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.